All right, welcome back to the Ride Your Bike Cycling Channel. I'm your host, the Vegan Cyborg. This is right after the Death Wobble, so I'm a little rattled. Death Wobble Ride, Death Wobble Ride is real. All right, so today is the rehash of the Jersey episode. So kits, we're talking kits. Gonna go over price points, materials, weather considerations. Did I say price points? And a little bit of why I have each jersey in my jersey collection. Some jerseys are in the laundry, so if you see me in a video wearing a jersey that I didn't show in this video, Probably because it was in the laundry. Anyways, here we go. Let's get right into it. So, this is not in any spe spe specific order. So, that being said, just enjoy the show. So, Team Vegan Kit from HillKiller.com. Um, this is the full kit. My first all vegan kit. Got this for my birthday a couple years ago. And this is pretty much a club club jersey, club ride kit. Sleeves are a little bit on the shorter side and it kind of fits like a club fit t-shirt. Um, not really stretchy material so um, I probably should have sized up. This is 100% polyester made in China, size large. I probably should have got an XL top and large shorts. The cuffs are nice on the shorts because they're nice and wide. They don't pinch your leg. Arms are pretty good because they don't have the irritating uh, elastic band on the arm, which I hate. But because the sleeves are very short, I use arm sleeves with this kit. This is more like winter kit or unzip it halfway because it it kind of does heat up in the summertime. I live in Hawaii, Oahu, tropical weather so usually in the high 80s, mid 90s Fahrenheit which is kind of hot, humidity is high, need more ventilation. Um, this kit was like I think 120 bucks. This is all to my memory. This is my kit collection over like 10 years. Frosty Cycling Kit, I have the bib shorts as well. This is from Burge, very new. Italian cuffs, grippers on the arms, super nice touch. Sleeves don't roll up. Uh, gripper on the back, no gripper on the front. Oh, there is grippers on the front as well, right? there hopefully you can see that and laser cut everything super nice jersey um little bit more uh thicker material for united kingdom weather um because frosty cycling crew um if you're not following his channel definitely go check out his channel they are based out of the uk they have a little bit cooler temperatures but still great kit from Verge would definitely get their stuff again all the high-end jerseys have a zipper pocket usually for money cash things like that if you don't bring a wallet or electronics just a partition um, and they usually also have reflective bits on it for safety because safety is always good Reflection is to be seen, lights is to R to C. So, great kit, one of my favorites. LEL, Sunday morning coffee jam, full kit. Love this one from LEL, based out of California. Moisture wicking, longer sleeves, goes all the way down to the ditch of the arm. Very nice, laser cut, different paneling, mesh, and um, stretchy mesh, very vented for summertime custom jersey. 
absolutely one of my favorites. Very, very nice. Reflective bits and um, very endurance based chamois. Very good chamois. Don't skimp on your chamois in the shorts. Yeah. Um, old school team kits from the trade win. The OG kit from, I would say, probably late 90s, early 2000s. Like to 2005 ish. Yeah. So, two full kits and that. Very good. This is from Endura brand. They're based out of the United States. And it was labeled as race fit, so I got a double XL for the jersey top because this does not stretch very much. So, had to get it in two sizes up because they sized their stuff very small. But, size large for the bibs. Yeah. Very nice, moisture wicking, great for summertime. And no pinching in the cuffs because these are even though they have elastic in them they aren't the irritating elastic so beware of the china jerseys um, they have the elastic that just has a death grip on your bicep Molteni knockoff kit from china um, gripper on silicone gripper on the leg kind of tiny kind of irritates your leg if you've been sweating a lot in the heat could get some heat blisters which I do occasionally with these shorts so I have to move around the short seam halfway through the ride to make sure it doesn't create any heat blisters this also doesn't stretch too well so size XL in the top and even though it looks like it's mesh it kind of does not breathe well no elastic in the sleeves which is good got this one from from a friend who um, just was getting rid of it and I like Eddie Merckx the cannibal so great kit Molteni classic but it is a knockoff here's another knockoff um, imitation sportful jersey made in China but actually I get a lot of compliments on this kit because of the brightness and the detailing and it really does look like a, le a legit sportful kit um, even though it is just the one material the mesh the mesh is kind of good in this one it does vent a little bit more it's got that hexagon hexagon mesh in it I don't know if you can see that so yeah, pretty good jersey. The chamois, it's just super thick. Super thick, but it hasn't gone flat yet. Had it for a few years, still like this one. Actually turned it into a bib short by sewing it, sewing on some old bibs onto these regular shorts, which gave it a second life. The knockoff Chinese kits that I showed were usually about 25 bucks to 30 bucks for both top and bottom. Uh, here we go. This is this is a really good brand. This is one of my favorite kits. This is from an Italian brand, Capo. Capo. Um, I think they were some of the first to make these Italian cuffs and very nice sleeves that are comfortable in a different material and has a lot of stretch to it. Um, vented very well. Um, even though this is a size large, I still can fit it because it's got very, very high stretch like um, the pro jerseys do. Sleeves are kind of long, which I like. They go all the way to the ditch of the arm instead of like burly sleeves that only go like right past the, the deltoid. I kind of like my sleeves to look longer. Gives it that svelte look like you have longer arms even though you don't. I'm only 5'8", I don't have long arms. So anything that I can get to give an illusion of longer arms looks kind of cool in photos. These also have the Italian cuffs 
on the pants, on the shorts, which is really nice. But the elastic is starting to deteriorate now after years of washing. But still very, very comfortable. They have one of the nice, nicest chamois in their bib I have ever owned with some of the nicest trying to get the light in there stitch work that I've ever seen lays very flat very comfortable very seamless I like that one I like that one a lot and I used to be into the TV show Criminal Minds and I like black and red black and red is timeless green I have the full kit from this one this is from a vegan company out of the UK called Hilarion uh, Katie Kukabura has her YouTube channel and that's how I found out about her kits and she owns or co-owns a company that makes Hilarion kits and she's also a vegan youtuber check her out on YouTube and kit has a hidden pocket it says vegan on it it's really nice there's one in color and this one is kind of more toned down with the color with just hints of green gray white and black and the side has the mesh paneling Italian cuffs on the arm super nice logos that say vegan on the arm um, I use this in the summertime no problems even when it gets 100 degrees, still feels great. The front though is a little bit thicker material, so your body doesn't get cold in the winter. This is the next iteration of the Trademan Cycling Team kit. Don't really like this one. Um, kind of looks just put together, kind of oddly. Colors kind of don't blend together. They kind of kind of put this one together really fast there's an and they, they created a new iteration of this kit almost the next year because this one was very a very hated colorway the new one is much nicer um and then they, they made this Italian gelato sign so huge which just disturbs me kind of makes it look like gelato cycling team instead of treatment cycling team i wish this logo was much smaller but to each his own yeah i understand having sponsoring but this is overkill when the sponsor logo is as big as the bike shop and team logo i think that's an issue um but overall it's good it wicks Bib shorts really suck, even though it's Italian cuffs and laser cut. The sizing was all wonky the year we bought this. So even though you wear this, it does not wrap around your 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 upper leg well. A piece always bubbles up and slaps in the wind when you're bicycling, and that's just super irritating. So they did not get the sizing with that correct this year. This is from Squadra, also Squadra.us. So, Squadra makes good stuff. I really like their zippers. The zippers are this durable plastic material. Very easy to unzip and zip if you sweat a lot, which I do. So, that's what's great about these zippers. Um, and if you forget to zip it up and put it in a mesh bag when you wash the kit it won't really get destroyed because it's not metal it's plastic it's a very durable type of plastic and it's really easy to zip up and down even if you've been sweating on it a lot like I'm talking a crap ton so that's good and the bibs the bibs are always I mean the the bibs are always good the chamois are always good but this was, I think, their first year switching over to the Italian laser cut leg binder, which sucked. But the next year was really good. Yeah. So, yeah. 
And next, moving on, this was my first pro kit from Specialized back when I was 236 pounds, so I got this in an XL. And I've since sized down, so I had to get it um, custom tailored down to fit me because I still like this in the summertime. Very cool, moisture wicking jersey. Very, very soft fabrics from Specialized. Very soft shoulder sleeves. Italian cuffing. Great stuff. Um, the nice jerseys always have the silicone gripper in the back and usually nothing in the front. But this is an older jersey from maybe six or seven or eight years ago. So this was, you know, I still use this and the zipper is still really good. Nothing's broken on it, even though it's been washed a ton of times. So that's the main, and another thing about getting cheap jerseys, the zippers usually break quickly in the washing machine. That jersey was about, I wanna say maybe $80 back seven, eight years ago. Super cheap, all mesh, summertime, classic AliExpress, very, very mesh see-through jersey. This will definitely show your nips in the summertime. But if all you're gonna do is climb all day and sweat all day and you're in the tropics, this is really good. This was $18 AliExpress special, slow boat from China, like 18, 19 days to my mailbox, but definitely worth it. Um, size double XL because it's China sizing. If you wear a large, size up two times. This is the low entry level um, RBX kit from Specialized. This is just super thick winter time. I just wanted a jersey for winter time and all around. It's a good jersey, kind of club fit, size large. Um, nothing fancy about it. And it's made by Specialized. And it was on sale for like, I think, 20 bucks. So I needed a, I wanted a black kit. So got that. This I got at a garage sale for five bucks. It's from Sugoi. And it was just an extra kit. I might donate this one again. I don't I don't think I've used this one in like over a year. This one also a garage sale, but I liked the color for safety. I hate the three-quarter zip. Um, sizing is a large but fits more like a medium. It's old school club fit. Very short sleeves, very tight arm gripper. I do like the pineapples, but um, I might give this one away. And I do like the Hawaiian flag, but the sizing fits kind of like a club fit medium, which I'm a large. So this is a bit too tight. This has got to go. I might give that to my friend who actually rides from Macaulay. This one, AliExpress, supposed to be their Rafa knockoff jersey. I got this for like 18 bucks. It's got the knockoff Rafa logo and another knockoff Rafa logo in the back. I had to reinforce the stitching for the pockets because they fell apart. The seams came undone. And so I had to, luckily I know how to sew so I had to sew the seam back on it because it was just coming apart at the seams for the pockets. Um, other than that, this is a comfortable jersey. I should have sized down because of the material. It is the very stretchy material. Feels like a stretchy, um, thin shirt. Um, I got it in 2XL. I probably should have just got this in XL or L and the sleeves are very stretchy as well, but um, it's okay, it's good for climbing, that's about it. Not very durable. I also got it in black. Um, this is my only Rafa jersey. Laser cut with the grippers in the, in the back, laser cut in the front. 
this is a true winter jersey because this is for this is for Rafa Festive 500 which only occurs in the winter very good sleeves I got this in a extra large because it is a thicker material with less stretch so I usually size up for Rafa stuff or Strava stuff um, or stuff that I'm ordering, ordering online where the size chart is a little bit gray yeah a little bit in the gray area so if in doubt size up because if it doesn't fit at all you can't use it if it's big you can still use it it might look frumpy but you can still use it um, it says 500 km on it this is this jersey was only available I believe it was only available for people who completed the challenge um, which I also got the matching cap and arm sleeves and the other cool thing about this jersey is it gives you a spot to write your distances right here that you did for the Rafa Festive 500 challenge which is cool um, and I really like the design yeah very nice zipper um, says Rafa on it very robust and um, well constructed very well sewn got this jersey because it wasn't super expensive um, usually the Rafa stuff is higher than a hundred bucks this one was only um, I think 65 so totally worth it for a Rafa jersey Six. Start it. We'll see mommy. All right. hey here is my one of my most expensive jerseys from Kurori this is from a Strava climbing challenge from years ago. I got it in a size large, so it's kind of kind of too tight right now. Sorry about that. The family just came home, so I had to get some stuff sorted back there. All right. Um, yeah. So back to this jersey. This jersey probably means the most to me because it's from the climbing challenge um, that Strava hosted, Strava and I think Strava and Rafa, yeah and it says climbing challenge on it and it says the actual challenge on the back 8,848 meters in 20 days so height of Mount Everest in 20 days and it has the hidden zipper pocket and it's got the very very nice um, mesh paneling from the Italian fabrics um, this is very race fit so I use this only for time trials now because it's kind of too small for me but it is a size large should have got an XL but I was a large slash medium back when I got this but this one just means a lot so that's why I have never gotten rid of it it's definitely still one of my all-time favorites and the collar is just super nice and comfortable it's like the low-lying collar with the Italian fabrics on it Hopefully you can see that. All right. Uh, this is my Punisher jersey. Um, knockoff, one of my faves. Really like the TV show, and I usually wear this when like I'm trying to PR or be a hot shot or be a cool guy. I wear this jersey because it makes me feel like the Punisher and it's a pretty awesome design jersey I would have to say so and I got this in a XL because it is China branding 
eBay special. I only have the top, but super comfortable and luckily it does not have the irritating arm crushing band in here. This is just like a t-shirt. It's just a sleeve cuff, which it's good. As long as you have a big enough arm, it should not flap in the wind. So yeah, that was like $18 special. This one from my very first Honolulu Century, Century Ride. The 2011 Century Ride. That was when I did my first Century Ride, 2011. And um, Century Century Rides used to be my bread and butter. So that is the kit. I mean the jersey. And it says Hawaii on, on it. I rode through a lot of mud with this jersey many, many times on the North Shore. So there's mud stains on there. It's a little bit dingy. Um, Non-elastic cuffs, which I like. It's just like a t-shirt. Total club, club cut jersey. It's from Sugoi, size large, but it is the summertime material, so it's a bit more stretchy. So I was able to get away with a size large. So for materials, if you're looking for a jersey, if it says winter time, that usually means thicker material, so size up, unless you're skinny and you fit into anything. Um, but if you got some extra lunchtime muscle, you might want to size up, especially if the material is thicker. If it is the new pro, pro line stuff with the stretchier materials, you can get away with getting your true size because the material has four-way stretch. Old school stuff, cheap stuff usually does not the China made stuff usually does not, so you gotta size up. Some of the knockoff AliExpress stuff does. So just kinda ask them or really pay attention pay attention to the materials they're using. If they have four-way stretch and they say pro or summertime, then usually you could go with your true size and not have to size up. If it does say 100% polyester, polyester usually isn't very stretchy unless it's the summertime polyester that's a bit thinner. Um, that's it. That's it for... Well, no, one more. Okay, here, this is from 2019 this year. This is from Canari out of, I think they're out of California. Got this in a size XL. This is my custom vegan cyborg, custom vegan cyborg kit um, from another very cool bicycle team that I ride for called We Bad Racing. Just a local club that kind of mocks being hardcore or mocks being too into racing. There's only a handful of us that rock this wee bad jersey. And um, it's got the fixed gear, fixy, fixy cog on there to be rebellious. And it's also got the very nice skull logo that says gone but not forgotten. And it's got the Hawaiian Islands on the side, which is super nice, super fancy. And the Hawaiian flag with the British Union Jack on the back, looking mighty fine. And the Oahu logo, logo on the side panel, as well as the Aloha on the back of the neck. Aloha means hello and Aloha means goodbye and this jersey is awesome no no irritating elastic on the cuff but the sizing is perfect so it fits the arm oh so well and that would that would be it for the video
because this video is about to be 30 minutes long. So, bye-bye. And, please, you know, with...